Hi everyone, how are you? It is V. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by V. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac. This is for the week commencing on May 25th of 2020. We are going to get right into the Psychic Astro. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. For those of you interested in a membership on my website or a uh, purchase to get a consultation with me, you can certainly go to the link below. Uh, there you will be guided to my website. You can purchase the membership or you can purchase a consultation with me. Memberships, um, you can cancel anytime you like. I, I love my members. My members are absolutely awesome. We truly support one another. I just, I just absolutely love my members. So if you want to join that family, please, you are uh, welcome and you are invited to do so. Uh, we are going to get right into the Psychic Astro. I do have to make these quick, ladies and gentlemen, so I will be doing the Tarot with the Psychic Astro this upcoming week. I will break it down into the elements. I will pull one card from the Rider Waite, and then I will pull three cards from the uh, Witch's Tarot to get clarifiers or possible additional energies that you may be dealing with. All right, we are going to get right into it. And guys, remember what I told you with the Gemini New Moon. You are going to see, without a shadow of a doubt, people trying to feed you a line of bullcrap or people trying to reveal the truth to you. You will see the contrast between the black and the white, the, the red and the green, the purple and the whatever other color, yellow, okay? So this is kind of what's going on here. There is a need for people to not take in the hype. Now, for many of you out there, um, I think it was last week's reading, I was talking about how there is going to be so much energy out there, like this isn't going to be, honey, wake up. I think that might have been for my extended um, members uh, but anyway, so there was something about a notice, somebody being awoken by a four alarm fire. So um, I, I wish everybody safety, absolutely. But I will not deny my predictions coming true. There was a four alarm fire in San Francisco. Members, please put your comments below if you were the ones that heard it. Uh, for others of you out there, I don't know if I did it on, if I mentioned that on YouTube or if it was just for my members. Members, you're going to know. So members, please uh, put the comment below regarding the four alarm fire that absolutely you can go on Google. You can go anywhere you want. You will actually see four alarm fire in the title. Okay. Like I said, a million times over, my predictions tend to be very practical. They tend to be every day. Um, they are not about what he's thinking about you, what she's thinking about you. These are things to help you get through life. These are predictions that help you prepare for the energies that are coming up. As many of you know, astrology, whether it is Vedic, whether it is Western, I choose Western, some people choose Vedic, that's perfectly fine. Um, whatever it is, this is an ancestral tool. This is a tool of our ancestors. This is a tool of, of uh, predictions and, and energies that were you know, designed over a period of centuries ago, okay, this, this was an absolute tool. It was almost like a weather map. You know, do I travel on this way, on this day? Do I not travel on this day? All right, this is the type of energy that we're dealing with. That is how astrology works. Nostradamus did not predict whether somebody, somebody was going to find their twin flame. Nostradamus predicted massive fires, massive wars, massive revolutions. That is what true predictions are, okay? Now, yes, sometimes the predictions will come out relative to your love life or relative to the energies where you can take advantage of those energies to bring love into your life, absolutely. But predictions are exactly that, predictions that come true in the future because you're pulling in the energy and usually predictions are one of a very extreme or intense energy, okay? Those are the ones that you can read before the energy hits. 
That is usually how people um, are with prediction psychics that actually predict actual events happening. They will actually pull in the energy before it actually transpires because the energies around in the world and in the universe are actually lining up for those particular things to happen. Some things really are faded. I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, fate, it's all about, you know, what control in your life. I don't know. I, I think some of it is control in one's life, but I think most of it's faded. I don't know who needed to hear that brief intro, but somebody did. So we are going to get right into the reading. I just wanted to give you a confirm, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to my confirms because I don't do it all the time, but I uh, certainly will do it if something comes up that is pretty significant. Let's get right into it. On May 25th of 2020, Mars and Pisces sextiles Uranus and Taurus at 8 degrees. On or around this day, I would watch out for Pisces people. Pisces people out there, your temperature is going to go up between 0 0.3 to about 1 degree. Because Mars, when Mars is in Pisces, you're actually going to be hotter. You're going to be feeling like you, you, you're sweating more or you're going to be feeling like you need to cool off more. Okay, so Pisces people, you are going to be uh, physically, temperature-wise, you are going to be hotter. I just want to let you know that. Okay, I would watch out for Pisces people on May 25th or right around this day. Actually, I am recording this on the 23rd. So Mars and Uranus, I'm going to say plus or minus five days, right around there. So Pisces, you may have already been triggered. So they may be easily triggered or alternatively very driven and aggressive. Others may be passive aggressive, which is never a good combo with the Pisces. It appears that the Pisces people or the Aries Pisces cuspers will go through a very strange energy shift. They will be put in a leadership position for which they generally would shun or not be comfortable with. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know here, this could be a Pisces, but it could also be an Aries. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Taurus or it could be an Aquarian. They might be putting out this energy or they might be receiving this energy from any one of those signs could be any sign but generally it's going to be those signs and there's something about self-empowerment here there's something about standing one's ground there's something about making a point okay very very important all right there is a conversation that is going to be happening that somebody simply does not want to have Someone is saying, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to revisit this. I don't want you to bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up. Why is it brought up all the time? What are we doing? We are just absolutely rehashing the same thing over and over again. Please stop. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. So again, this is difficult for the Pisces as they are usually easygoing and mutable. However, this Mars energy will cause a short circuit. Pisces does not like it when Mars is in their sign because people look at them differently like they are out of sorts. Pisces may feel out of sorts. Bursts of anger are coming unhinged. Remember, everything and every word I say is pertinent. I make that very clear and I made that very clear at the beginning intro of this particular transmittal. I said for alarm fire. You are actually seeing that right now on Google in San Francisco. Pay attention to every word I say. To the alternative, however, a Pisces could become a great warrior or leader, especially as it relates to people's self-value and especially theirs. A Pisces may create an unexpected development in someone's possessions, the money they make, or someone's self-value. If you are partnering with a Pisces and you are a Pisces, this will likely be very lucrative. However, stay away from rose-colored glasses and commiserating. For if you do or if you do not, you will both go down in a ball of flame, I'm telling you, whether you're with a Pisces or not. If someone brings up something from the past where you are rehashing a commiseration, Someone in this conversation, even possibly a third party, maybe a friend, you're down, you're like you're, you're sitting down, you're having drinks, whatever, and somebody keeps bringing up the past, keeps bringing up the past, keeps bringing up the past. 
there is either a Pisces person or somebody else is just going to go unhinged. They just don't want to hear about it anymore. They have, they rule the past. They rule the hidden. They know all about it. You don't need to tell a Pisces about the past over and over and over again. They only want to move forward because they have literally been mired in the past. They deal with it all the time. They deal with everybody else else's past. They deal with everybody else's commiseration. They deal with everybody else's baggage, everybody else's karma. They don't want it in their most successful relationships. I'm just letting you know that right now, okay? So if a Pisces is partnering with a Taurus, however, this will be quite lucrative as well, and things will move very, very quickly. One minute, nothing, and the next minute, an entire project is finished. Both the Taurus and the Pisces will have to support one another and do their part. If not, karma or payback awaits both or one of them for sure. This could be where a Pisces assists a Taurus or a Taurus assists a Pisces. So what is interesting is that this is very supportive energy that is either unpredictable support or just unpredictable energy. It may have something to do with the physical home or other possessions. There is a power in this day, so use it wisely. Any moves that need to be made today regarding completing projects, standing your ground, or aggressively pursuing something from the past or any Pisces characteristic is well starred. Members, continue on to my website to find out where your emotional satisfaction will be or should be focused. Let's go ahead and get into May 28th. May 28th of 2020, Mercury in Gemini conjuncts the North Node in Gemini at 20 deg 29 degrees. Now, this is sitting between 29 and 0 degrees to be absolutely technical in Western astrology. So I just want to make everyone know that it could be 29 degrees, it could be 0 degrees, depending upon uh, what type of uh, formulation you're looking at. So on or around this day, pop your popcorn, and I mean it. Truth like you have never known releases right about now. There is someone that was manipulating something and that was saying that they weren't manipulating something. I got in trouble because I didn't manipulate this. You guys know what I'm talking about. You're going to find out about this person. I guarantee it. But you'll find out more about that in the Irrational Rationals. Geminis are very talkative and it relates to the truth and exposing lies. Here is another episode of The Big Reveal. I am sensing that every Gemini with a rising sun, moon, or planet between 17 degrees of Gemini to 6 degrees of Cancer, or whatever house these degrees occupy for Geminis and Cancers, will be where the truth is revealed for them or about them. Geminis or Gemini cusper Cancers at these degrees especially are going to be on fire regarding information dissemination. Wild horses could not hold these people back. These people are the truth seekers. Not the lying Geminis as they will be called out. Lying Geminis will be called out. Truth telling Geminis, Geminis that get in your face and tell you like it is, will be lauded. It is the truth seekers that will let everyone know either who the leader is or they will prove without a doubt that they are the leaders. The, um, they are the great awakeners or the great leaders preparing to take their rightful place. Virgos will also play a supporting role. The Virgos right now are behind the scenes preparing the delivery of the package. Virgos, put your comments below. We know what you're up to. It has to be just perfect. Good job, Virgos. Keep dotting those I's and crossing those T's because we're ready. Siblings, communications, contracts, negotiations, the neighborhood, and or short distance travel are some ways in which this information will be revealed or delivered. But why are some Gem Geminis being put in the spotlight relative to leadership or the lack thereof? Members, you know where to go. All right, and then on May 29th of 2020, the sun in Gemini sextiles Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. On or around this day, you will see great healing regarding truthful communication. Someone was at their wits end, waiting for some nugget of truth that will free an imprisoned mind. Well, whatever was revealed on the 28th may again be announced, but officially on the 29th. A sign of relief 
is not even close to what is going on here. This is a great day to communicate. May 29th, and as you move into June, communicate. If you have something to say, if you have something to reveal, if you have some sort of... Um, um, some sort of communication that has been difficult for you in the past. This is the day it starts. This is where you want to start this, all right? Someone or a group of people feel as though they have been given a second chance at life. For many, they will never forget the pain they went through to finally taste sweet freedom. Siblings or neighbors, even social media, will reveal information on purpose or even accidentally that will cause a vindication or the guilty person to now be questioned. Great healing for a Gemini, Leo, or an Aries will be felt here. Alternatively, some of these signs may be questioned or in the hot seat. We will see what happens. If a Gemini has not been feeling well, expect to be feeling much better soon. The sun in uh, Gemini, so the focus is on Gemini. The healing will commence in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. The people helping the Geminis to heal, whether intentional or not, may be an Aries, Leo, or other Geminis. One is taking back their power on this day. I certainly hope it is you. All right, we are going to get into your tarot. All right, what do we got going on here? Let's start with the beautiful earth signs. Earth signs, we're going to start with you. Again, this is going to be a little bit truncated. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Earth signs, what do we have? All right, earth signs, go ahead and put your energy in the deck. What is your card for the week commencing May 25th? Earth signs, the seven of wands. So earth signs, you are trying to maintain control of a situation. You might be trying to um, keep your position in a certain way, earth signs, there could be a lot of things that are coming up that you did not expect that you had to deal with. In this particular case, you are fighting off the energy of those that wish to cause interference in your life. There may be someone around you that is going through that energy as well. All right, earth signs. Why is this here or what is the additional energy? What could this be related to? You're fighting for your rights. You're fighting for someone else's rights. You're trying to deal with the past issues that haunt you, that come up in conversation at very inopportune times. Someone might be telling you, earth sign, get the freak over it. I don't want to discuss it anymore. Let's see what else we've got going on, earth sign. All right, the reason why this is happening is because of a Pisces person. Again, Earth sign, you might be dealing with a Pisces person. Remember, Mars is in Pisces and they are going to get very triggered very easily. This is steamy for some. This is steamy interactions. For others of you, this is a steamy interaction relative to a fight, a disagreement, um, some something that sets somebody off. The other one is the death card. A Scorpio person might be causing this energy as well. So you've got a Pisces person and a Scorpio person. Again, I really feel earth signs. If you are dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, do not bring up the past. They will not have anything to deal with it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to, they don't even want to broach the subject. They're like, we've talked about this enough. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Earth sign, you could be telling them that as well. There could be something that is ending with a Pisces, a conversation that you wish would just end with a Pisces, or there could be, um, or a Scorpio. Uh, there also could be a massive transformation relative to a relationship with a Pisces or a Scorpio as well. You might be bringing up a Scorpio to a Pisces, or you might be bringing up a Pisces to a Scorpio. And the thing is, is people are defensive. They just don't want to hear it. Um, I'm sorry, I, I just I, I am sick and tired of dealing with this conversation. We're not going to have this conversation again. Okay. So uh, Ur sign, if you are holding on to the past, okay, you really need to let it go because you have a relationship, possibly you have a relationship here that is very, very 
lucrative for you, that's very positive for you, that's very loving for you, you keep bringing up the past and you keep bringing up commiseration and everything that you may have done or they may have done, this is going to cause so much friction. You are just going to be beside yourself. You're going to wish you never said a word. Okay. There's your warning for this upcoming week or sign. Maybe that's the warning for somebody that you're dealing with. But there is a massive transformation coming up here. There is a need to look at something from a different perspective. Someone might not be looking at something from a different perspective. This is causing frustration with you. Or you might not be looking at something from a different perspective. And now it's causing frustration with somebody else. What else? Why is it here? Oh, yes. The Queen of Pentacles. So this is you, Earth sign. So the thing about it is, Earth sign, if you want to be treated with respect, you darn well better give it. You need to value someone. You need to value the effort they put into things. You need to value what they bring to the table. You need to respect every single thing about them. You, and this is the thing, this is only if you want the respect. This is, this has got to be somebody that you're invested in because they respect you. They would never treat you the way maybe you've treated them, or they would never say these things about you that you've said about them. Okay, so earth sign, I want you to be very, very careful with your words this upcoming week because there's something about you um, offending somebody's self-value. This may have something to do with pets as well. So please be aware of that earth sign. There is something regarding flowers. So earth sign, I don't know if you're buying somebody flowers. Maybe you have to apologize to someone or someone's buying you flowers. There's just a discussion about flowers for whatever reason. So that's what I'm getting, earth sign. Um, there is a different way to make money also, earth sign, that you're thinking about right now for whatever reason. There could be someone that still values, like you thought that they forgot about you. You thought that they just left and they're never going to be back, but they still value you. You're finding out that... Um, Maybe you, you pegged somebody wrong and you thought it was just over for good. You'd never hear from them again. And you hear from them and they're just nice. They're kind. There's, there's nothing major here. It's just, you know, a quick check-in or something like that. Nothing, nothing over the top. You know, it's not like getting back together or anything like that. It's just, hey, how's it going? Just want to let you know, dot, dot, dot. And then you move on. But they don't hate you, earth sign. So please just be aware of that. All right, now we're going to get into the air signs, air signs, air signs. What do we got with you, air signs? All right, air signs, please put your energy in the deck. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. And guys, I want everybody to know the reason why I'm, I'm a very loud talker. If you don't like the volume of my voice, please turn your volume down. There is nothing more frustrating than getting a soft talker on YouTube and you cannot turn the volume up enough. I talk loud so that anybody can hear it and I talk very succinctly so that everybody can hear it. It may come across very intimidating. It may come across as very crass, but that is not the case. I do it so my words are clear and that you can hear me. All right, air sign, what have we got for your energy? The 10 of swords. Uh, basically what it is, air sign, is your back, you may need to get your back adjusted. Some of you may be uh, going back to get acupuncture. For others of you, air signs, you may be wanting to put an end to a discussion, an end to a situation. You may have felt backstabbed by someone. Someone may have backstabbed you, air sign. Definitely coming up here. So let's see what the other energies are. This is stick a fork in it. I'm done. You may want to, um, maybe you, air sign, are in the conversation regarding bringing up the past all the time, always dealing with the past. Somebody is saying, end it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's over. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let it go. Cut it out. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. 
This might be related to a Libra person. I don't know why that's coming up air sign, but it might be related to a Libra person. All right. Why is this energy here, air sign? Why is this energy here? Quickly, give me three cards. Yes, because of the Page of Pentacles. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn air sign. Um, this is about self-value. This is about the hard work you put into something. You see how that ribbon is kind of around her waist like that? It almost looks like, um, like a sizing chart. So some of you might be buying clothes because you're losing weight or you gained weight and now you've got to buy different clothes or you're updating your wardrobe. But for a lot of air signs out there, that you know, somebody works really hard on making themselves look good. They work really, really hard on, you know, uh, it, just to feel good about themselves, to, to show everybody out in the world that I put in effort. And the thing about it is there is some sort of conversation coming up here about the lack of the, um, of the acknowledgement of somebody putting a lot of work into their body, into their, their health, into making themselves look good. Um, not only if you're in a relationship with them, but you know, if you're in a relationship with them or they're in a relationship with you, whatever it is, like somebody is trying really, really hard to look good. And somebody was, somebody was absolutely like thrown for six. They were like, I can't believe, I can't believe you said that about me. I, I mean, I've, I, I am such a, uh, I'm a good looking female. I'm a good looking male. And you just made me feel like shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. She ought. You just made me feel like crap. I mean, this really affected somebody. Okay. This could also be the end air sign to some sort of grant funding money coming in. Um, this could be the end for some of you air signs. This could be the end to a Capricorn um, providing extra money for you. Um, just coming up here, just letting you know. What is the other energy we have? Yes. The uh, Knight of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords reversed is just is just saying something without thinking first. Someone said something without thinking, and now it has caused a level of feeling backstabbed by someone that you love, or feeling backstabbed by um, someone that you love, okay, or someone that loves you. And so this person that you love, they feel backstabbed by you. Or you feel backstabbed by them because of this bad information, this bad communication. Really, air signs, really think before you speak. I, I am seeing this big time. Air signs, think before you speak. I'm not going to tell you again. I get like that a lot with the earth signs because earth signs know better. Air signs get caught up in the words and they just bleh. I mean, it just comes out. But this time, air sign, you need to count to 10 before you speak on something. That is just what I'm hearing here. Bad communication, bad information, all of this is just, this is also communication about lies, communication about uh, fudging the truth, communication relative to um, twisting somebody's words around. That is what this is. All right. What is the third energy, my beautiful air signs? The magician. All right, air signs, you have the ability to fix this. You have the ability to make this energy work for you. You better fix it quick because you have the ability to do it. So make sure if you are in a situation where you have literally said something that just set somebody off and You've looked back on it later and you're like, that was a real a-hole move. I should have never said anything like that. You better apologize because what's happening here is that what you said was very inappropriate. And now basically what's happening here is that you have the ability to fix it. You have the ability, if this is related to communication or if this is related to work, you have the ability to rectify the situation before it gets out of control. This is wonderful air sign. Take advantage of it. If you say something wrong, you just you may not realize it at first. But once you're 
once you're out of the situation and all of a sudden you see stuff like transpire, you're going to be like, I should have never said that. I should have never said it. That was a dumb move on my part. Okay. Or someone could be saying that to you, air sign. Okay. They said something that was really stupid. All right. Water signs. What do we got going on with you, water signs? What do we got going on with you? Water signs. Water signs. What do we got? Water signs. Water signs, put your energy into the deck, please. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Gotcha. All right. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, what have we got? Um, the fact that I couldn't even cut it, like, quickly, like, it, it got stuck, it got blocked. So, Pisces, you might be blocking something. You might be, why did I say Pisces? Okay, Pisces, you might be blocking something, so something can't move forward. All right, it could be any of the other water signs, but Pisces, I got it specifically for you. So let's go ahead and see what your card is. Water sign, there we go. Unbelievable. Water sign, you were offended by something. You were hurt. You felt like you were um, devalued. You felt like you were... Um, put in a position of needing to defend yourself when you shouldn't have had to. Um, water signs, something's very, very significant going on in your life right now. Water signs, you might be dealing with just a small, like maybe you, you know, tripped, bumped your head, hurt your ankle, you're repairing something, you could be repairing something. Um, but there is a sense here, a uh, water sign that you are a little bit reticent to just open up the door and let everybody back in or just open up the door to everything. You've learned your lesson. You're not going to repeat the bad lessons or you're not going to repeat the bad actions that you went forth on in the past. You are saying to yourself, I'm not making that mistake again. I'm standing up for myself now. I'm not going to wait. Okay. They either know now or, you know, it's going to get lost in the shuffle. Ain't happening. I am going, it's almost like, like when, you're, when your child or when your pet does something that they shouldn't be doing, you need to address it right away. You don't address it 10 days down the road when people don't even remember. You make your mark right then and there. All right, water sign, that's what's coming up. But you might be a little bit defensive towards something or someone. And I think a lot of this is because of uh, Mars uh, being in Pisces. So all of the water signs are being affected because you're trining that Mars. So please be aware of that. So what? why is this energy here or what is the additional energy for the water signs? I'm hearing dress to the nines. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but when someone dresses to the nines, they look very, very nice. They look very well put together. There might have been something regarding somebody making a comment about how you're dressed that offended you, or you made a comment about how somebody else dressed and it offended them. All right, water sign. So what have we got here, water sign? Why is this energy here, water sign? Because of the King of Pentacles reversed, it was an earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, they just, they were not thinking when they said something or did something to you that caused you to get defensive. All right. This is someone that did not value or respect the hard work that you put into a situation. They did not value or respect what um, efforts you were putting into your own life to create stability. They did not respect you and it set you off. That's just what happened. Wow, these readings are really, really connected. For some of you water signs out there, this could be um, defensiveness relative to losing money or um, something about the loss of money or needing to look at budgeting or something like that. Absolutely. 
stability, like losing a little bit of stability. Maybe you lost stability in yourself. Maybe you didn't like being put on the defensive because for you, you just don't like being put on the defensive. You like to be very jovial and very supportive and very loving. And now what has happened is you were put on the defensive and you did not appreciate that at all. All right, water sign. Next card is the five of wands reversed. So when you get the five of wands reversed, um, this argument came and went, okay? It was here for a little while. Someone realizes that they disrespected you or you realize that you disrespected somebody else. The fight is over, but the scar remains. All right, that is what I'm getting. That was a big scar. They must have really triggered you, water sign, or you really triggered them because that's a big scar to be that defensive. Yeah, things are gonna change. Just letting you know. You really, really hurt somebody or they really, really hurt you. Yes, fool reversed. So what I think was happening is that everything was fine. Everything was great. People were feeling alive, free, wonderful. And someone said something so stupid they, um, they devalued you, you devalued them, whatever it was. Everything was going great. Everything was going fine. You felt wonderful. Maybe you were dressed to the nines or they were dressed to the nines and something came out of their mouth where it was like, are you kidding me? Really? That was so foolish. You have no idea. So water sign, you did something foolish or you are mentioning someone else doing something foolish. Okay, you can even see the dog here in this particular conversation. The dog is like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it if I were you. Don't say it, don't say it. Boom, this is what happened right here. All right, no movement forward. Um, really hurting somebody's, somebody's feelings were hurt. I'm leaving it at that. And now somebody's defensive because of it. All right. This is one of those conversations, guys, either at work, in the family, or even um, in a relationship where this is something that could be brought up again. You know, it's sad that that happens, but when somebody's really triggered and somebody is really, really hurt by a comment, somebody says, do not be surprised if they bring it up later. Like if they're offended, if they're hurt again, they may bring it up again. They may say things like, well, you know, I'm nothing but a freaking slump anyway, you know, a lump of coal anyway. You know, I've got less than 21% body fat. I take care of myself. I look really good for my age, but you compared me to such and such, or you, you um, didn't acknowledge, you know, the work that I was doing at the gym, or you didn't. You didn't see, you know, everybody was complimenting me on my on my dress, but you were basically just criticizing me the whole time. It's something like that, okay? It's something water sign that's just very offensive. So, water sign, please make sure that you're not you're gonna you're you're thinking before you're speaking. Again, guys, why is this coming up? Why are all the signs very very similar with what's happening right now? Because the sun and the north node are in Gemini. You have got to be very, very careful with what you say. If you say you're going to do something, you better do it. If you, um, if you make a, an off, off remark or off comment, be ready to pay the piper if you need to pay the piper. Please, please be careful. All right. Getting into the fire signs. Fire signs, what do we got for you, fire signs? What is your energy for the upcoming week? Fire signs, what do we got? First card for fire signs. One more shuffle. Fire signs. Please put your energy in the deck. Let's pull your card, fire signs. Your card is the hanged man. Fire signs, you're dealing possibly with a Pisces person. Um, this Pisces person may feel as though you hung them out to dry. You disrespected them. They were the sacrificial lamb. Um, you may want this Pisces person to look at things from a different perspective, maybe from your perspective, or maybe they're asking you to look at things from their perspective. 
but there is a sacrifice here. There is some sort of uh, awareness of what has transpired up to this point, fire sign. The hanged man is all about lying in wait for the right moment, going through a level of awareness that other people may not have access to. So this is what is happening here. The hanged man is all about looking at something from a different perspective. You might also need to get your back fixed or your back aligned as well. This is a massive transformation when someone decides of their own volition to take a look at something from a different perspective and ask themselves, did I handle the situation properly? That's what's coming up, fire sign. This may be fire sign that you're bringing up stuff from your past. You're not letting it go. Someone is not letting go of their past and it's causing difficulties in a relationship. And somebody's just outright sick of it. It's, it's like, let it the freak go. Let it go. Again, guys, many of you have very similar readings for all of the elements. There is something going on here regarding letting go of the past. Stop bringing the past up. All right. What have we got? We have the world reversed. So when you have the world reversed, when the world is upright, um, there is completion to a cycle. There is completion to a concern. There's completion to a situation. When it is reversed, it's not going away. It's not completing. Why? Because something keeps happening that triggers somebody and the cycle goes back again. The cycle goes back again. It's the same argument over and over and over. It's like, stop triggering. Universe is saying, just shut up. Just stop. Don't bring it up anymore. Let it go. That's what's happening here. Also, fire sign, there might be something regarding... Um, world travel, maybe related to a Pisces person, maybe traveling with a Pisces person or wanting to. Ah, the Queen of Wands. So this, when we have these two together, this is a third decan Pisces without a shadow of a doubt. So some of you might be dealing with a third decan Pisces fire sign. This person is very secure they are very well put together. They are an entrepreneur. They're loving. They're passionate. They, they're very passionate in the bedroom. They're very passionate with what they create. They're very passionate about everything. But understand, fire sign, they're just as passionate when they're defending themselves. And this is what's happening here. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So please be aware of this. But this particular person, or third decan Pisces, but this person, fire sign, they don't deal with no scrubs. They do not. They will not, they will not be um, disrespected at all. Not at all. And that's a confirm. They will not be disrespected, fire sign. You can bet your bottom dollar on that one. But there might be something, a uh, fire sign, regarding and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or third decan Pisces as it relates to um, needing to revisit something so that it can be dropped, so that you can move forward, okay? So what do we have going on as it relates to your next card? Why is the hangman here? Or what is the additional energy? Um, this is the page of Pentacles Reverse. I'm going to tell you two fire sign. This could be you bringing up a past woman if you're a male. You could be bringing up another woman in conversation. And I'm telling you right now, this third decan Pisces or this Pisces person is saying ixnay on the XA. Uh-uh, not happening. Not on my watch. Sorry. You're with me. If you don't want to be with me, you go back to her. Because I don't have time to, for you to sit and talk about how much time you guys spent together, how much this, how much that. I just don't have time for it. Um, it doesn't have to be a Pisces, but it can be somebody that has that type of energy. Okay? So please just be aware of that. Like somebody is saying, 
you know what? Um, your past is in the past. Let it go. I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm not going to be hamstrung or connected with this person anymore. Get over it. And if you can't get over it, you need to come clean now. Okay? So that's something that this person is saying. I think that this person might be getting triggered by talking about an ex. It, it could be a male. It could be a female. It doesn't matter. But someone is getting triggered by talking about an ex. The next one, like I said, is the reverse page of Pentacles. This is all about devaluing. Talking about an ex or talking about the other woman or talking about um, how much fun you had with somebody else when you're with the new person is devaluing them, okay? It's it's disrespecting them. And it, de it devalues them. It disrespects them. It makes them feel as though they are not worth it. Even though they're probably very secure in themselves, they will probably be thinking, I, I don't want to be with somebody who's who doesn't think that I'm first on their list. I, I'm sorry. If I'm not first on your list, then, or even second, especially if you have children, family, that type of thing. But if I'm not first on your list and I'm competing with a memory, go. <laughs> you, you can go fly a kite. And I have other words that I could say. But you go fly a kite because I don't, some of you might be flying kites actually. <laughs> but um, go fly a kite because I don't have time for this. I don't. I will not be compared to, I will not compete with a ghost. I will not. Just stop. Okay. So that is coming up. Now, the thing about it is for some of you, you feel as though you are um, in a situation where you just can't make the amount of money that you want to make right now. There is, there were a lot of reverse pentacles in, in everybody's readings pretty much. So I just want everybody to understand that there is something possibly that you were depending on that is no longer going to be there. So you really do need to start with your contingency plans to create uh, the abundance that you're looking for. You can't sit back and have handouts. It's You're going to have to be active. You're going to have to get out there and start working again. You're going to, everybody's going through it. You're not the only ones, okay? So we just want to let everybody know about that. This was a pretty intense reading as always, but uh, thank you so much for joining me. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.